What's up YouTube, Baker Jack and the Broad Bricks. I have a bag I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to try to lift this up here so you can see it. There we go. This is from uh, 3V Gear. Looks just like a, you know, kind of a, a pretty nondescript bag. It doesn't have a whole lot of tactical yell out at you. It's kind of, it could be anything. It could be a keyboard. It could be all kinds of different things that's, you know, basically a square shape. But, this is basically my rifle bag from 3V Gear. So I'm going to get you guys in close. All right, so here's the bag. I'm going to go ahead and open her up so you guys can see what's what. So we've got a compartment here in the front. Flip this open. You can see I've got several magazines in here. So it's got space for days. So you've got little elastic here. I use these for my uh, pistol magazines for my Glock. Uh, it was perfect. I had one, two, three, four, five. Boom. I use this little pouch right here to actually put my Glock in. Uh, and then I've got these little mesh pockets here. I've got two magazines here. These are for my AR. Then I've got my Magpul magazines. So these guys are all here. These are my singles. Right over here are my double deckers. So my double deckers are basically configured like this. Boom, bang, 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 Just pop out, boom, bang, 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 slap the next one in. So you can see each one of these is 30 rounds. So that's 90, 180. And another 90 so about 360 rounds of ammo right here now if I close this up now incidentally carrying this much uh -oh, I got this guy in wrong is that guy in there? yeah he's in oh I see what the problem is this guy Now, open the main compartment. Oh yeah, there is the rifle. It's got some padding over here. Keep it nice and safe, it doesn't mess up your... One thing that I did note, so the rifle can basically be secured with the velcro straps there it is now one thing to note it won't go in with the magazine so you're gonna have to take the magazine out okay so that's with the magazine out put this in but it did allow for all the other attachments and stuff so I have like a foregrip here uh, the stock I collapsed it back in so that it could fit it does have scope on it and all this other stuff and it all fits so that's pretty nice. And the other thing that's really nice about this particular bag from 3V Gear is the price point. My lord, the price point on this was very nice. Hang on, let me go ahead and zip it back up. I'm being tough on it on purpose. Now, the only problem that I have with this bag is this. So in the back, it's got these straps and while I think all of this stitching through here is fine let me see if I get it closer here let's get it down here right about there okay I think all of this stitching is fine it's got reinforced stitching here and here this is my concern the d-ring itself is metal okay so that's fine but these guys right here are plastic. And I think the point of failure that would ultimately happen would be here. Now, now the average person roll with a Glock, five magazines, a rifle, 360 rounds of ammo. If they're like me, yeah, they probably would. The drawback of that is with the, all of that sitting in here, it makes this very, very heavy. So, this handle, no problem. Reinforced super strong. 
but this strap, I have serious concerns. Now it hasn't broken or anything yet, but my fear is you're out, you're doing stuff with it and you're moving around. If it does fall, that's going to be a little bit interesting, especially if like, say it falls, boom, hits the ground really hard. And then say the rip, uh, the zippers or something fail on it. And suddenly you've got an exposed <laughs> rifle with all their, your magazines in it, you know, that could draw some attention. But other than that, I really don't have any complaints about it. Price point on this, right here. And I, I am a huge fan of 3V gear. They're located right here in uh, Salt Lake, uh, Utah. They're really good people. And uh, they got a wide range of other bags as well. But this was something they just introduced not too long ago. And they do have a couple other things. So this is basically, uh, I forget what they call this one, if it's a range bag. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, check it out. Damn, you smell good. Anyway, check it out. That's it for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe. Tell all your friends far away. Until next time, motherfuckers, please be good to each other, good to yourself. Go out, live life to the fullest, ride a bus, the wheels fall off, all that jazz. See you guys later.